What is up, YouTube? Last time you were here, if you are not new here, I put up the insulation in the bus. So now I am going to be finishing the walls. And what exactly I'm planning on doing is I'm gonna be using thin plywood paneling, which will go um, just over the walls. But I'm also going to be painting the bottom, this part, I'm gonna be painting that white. And I was planning on doing that first, but I think I'm actually gonna put the plywood up and then paint and I'll just paint the plywood as well. So let's uh, get to measuring and let's get to some cutting here so we can get this ball rolling. So that made it super easy. I don't have a table saw um, and I really wanted to do this all in one piece and get a nice straight line. So as you guys saw, I used uh, a longer, thinner board and these clamps and measured it out to make sure that it was the right measurements to include the width of the saw blade cover and it made it super easy to cut. So let's go see how accurate this really is on the inside of the bus.
dang near perfect. I am happy with that. Okay, so since that worked out pretty much perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same exact measurements and uh, process as I did on this side, on this side. I am gonna double check and make sure that the measurements are the same. They shouldn't be different, but just to double check, and then I will have almost both walls completely done. So I'm gonna do that and I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, we got the second wall cut. This side, for some reason, was actually a hair shorter. So I did cut it a slightly different measurement, but it fits perfect. So now we just got to do the two back corners, I guess just the rest of it, and then we can uh, attach it. Exciting stuff happening here. I am actually going to screw this panel in just so I can get a more accurate measurement. So I don't want to screw these panels in like at all and here's why I just screwed a screw in there and it very very easily just popped right through I'm actually planning on tacking these in with a nail gun and some small nails but until I get a nail gun um, I'm just gonna be using some liquid I'm gonna measure out where all the uh, framing is so that I know where to tack it but until then, I'm just going to place a couple odd screws here and there, not fully in like that, but just enough to hold it, but to where I can basically hide those behind the cabinets. Because you're not even really going to see any of this paneling anyways, that's why I went with this. This will all be on the back of my stuff back here. Like this will be behind the shower, so you won't even see any of this at all. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to use liquid nail to hold it up for now, then I'll go back in later and tack it in with the nail gun. So let's measure the back and get that done.
Okay, so now that I pretty much have all the walls ready to be set, like I said, I'm gonna use liquid nail, but I'm also gonna measure out the framing so that I know where to tack them in later on because I'm not doing that right now. But then I'm gonna liquid nail them, then we are gonna paint. guys I'm finally done for the day I got everything painted I painted the back over here I even painted the door but it's I have it open letting some air flow in here so we can get it dried overall I am happy with it all of this stuff is gonna be basically covered by uh, countertops and like the back will be covered by my bed and stuff so 
that you'll see more of but these walls these two walls I just wanted to paint them and make sure that they had a good coat on top but those are gonna be behind my all of my counters and my shower just obviously those are just the base walls I am super happy and glad to have it done it's finally starting to cool off for the day now that the work is over <laughs> But I am super, super excited with all of the progress that is being made. Next, we are going to start with the bed platform and then I'm gonna be semi moving in to the bus, which I'm super, super excited about. Um, it is definitely an awesome feeling to kind of see everything slowly starting to really come together. I'm really looking forward to getting the bed platform in here and building that. Um, it's gonna be super simple. And yeah, I'm just super excited about it. And I'm just gonna end the video here and just thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and commenting and making sure you like the video. And I just wanted to say thank you and I appreciate each and every one of you for stopping by, hanging out and watching the bus build. So I'll leave it at that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.